Thomas and the Dragon. I was working on the Chinese railway with my friend Yong Bao, just in time for the spring festival. Wow! Look at all the flowers on the trees. That's right, Thomas. It's peach blossom time. You're so lucky to be here in China for the new year. But I thought New Year was a winter festival when the trees are all bare. <laughs> Not in China. <laughs> Where did he go? Wait for me, young Bao! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are they carrying? Those are lanterns for the New Year celebrations. We have a big party. I love New Year. And do you know what the best part is? It's the dragon! Bao, did you say what I think you said? What is the best part of the new year? Oh, the best part of all is... I still didn't hear you. What did you say? <laughs> Thomas the Dragon! <laughs> Sorry, I, I still didn't hear the you. The Dragon, Thomas. I said the Dragon. Dragon? <laughs> That's right, Thomas. Usually, I take the dragon to the big square. But as you're a guest on our railway, I think you should have the honor. Huh? Me? Take the dragon? But, but, uh, don't dragons breathe out smoke and uh, fire? The more I thought about the dragon, the more I started to worry there might be one around every corner. Oh! Ah! <laughs> See you later, Thomas! <gasps> What's that? <gasps> A dragon! Not a dragon. What dragon? A talking chicken. Oh, what did you say? <laughs> oh, Hong Mei. I thought. Oh dear. Yong Bao wants me to take a dragon to the New Year party. Ah, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs>